All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the dimensioning video. It is, I think, video number four or something like that in my uh, beginner tutorials. Um, but basically, what we're going to do is very, very simple. We're going to make these couple shapes here, um, and then we're going to dimension them. Okay, and we'll talk about the different dimensioning tools and, and why you would use them and when you would use them. Okay, so prior to this, there were other videos. You should really watch those first because we need to know those skills in order to make these shapes. So here we go. You're going to take a line, you're going to start anywhere you want, you're going to draw down 6 inches. You are then going to draw to the right, and by the way, if you don't have that green line, that is F10. Make sure it says polar on. Uh, we're going to go 4 inches to the right, we're going to go 2 inches up, and we're just going to stay right on that green line. We're going to go 2 inches back, we're going to go 4 inches up, and then we're going to do C, enter for close. Okay, So we got like an L type shape here. Um, remember to use the offset tool, or how to use the offset tool is basically offset. What it does is it takes a line and it copies it in, you know, parallel to what the shape is. But it doesn't just have to be a line. It could be a polyline. It could also be um, polygons, okay, different things like that. So if you had a shape that all went all the way around, it would offset that either out or in depending on your second click. So offset, I want you to type uh, 2, enter. So that's a 2-inch offset. And we're going to take this line right here, and we're going to go 2 down. And we're going to go to in. So this basically brings you know this line back down. But these are dummy lines. They're going to be erased. What they are is they're just showing me uh, the center, or they're giving me a midpoint that I can click on to put my circles in there because that's what I want to do. I want to have my circles be right in the center. Okay. So you're going to do a center diameter, and you're going to click at the midpoint, and you're going to do one enter. That is a one diameter, one inch diameter circle, and then erase a line. Then you're going to do a radius, and I want to show you that at the midpoint here, a radius of um, 0.5 okay, is going to be the same size as the diameter 1 so then get rid of this dummy line sorry I had to think about that um, so now we got this kind of shape it's almost like a Swiss cheese L All right, and then we'll measure that later uh, we also have like an O so if you take a rectangle and you click uh, you know what keep these straight and what you do is this is a little trick you put your cursor on a corner and you start sliding over and then you click you're going to do at 6 Sorry, at four comma six. That's gonna go. So I'm pointing at my screen like you guys can see me. <laughs> uh, that's gonna go four over and six up. So enter just like that. You're then gonna offset that by 1.5, and we're gonna go in, not out. In. So it's gonna look like an O. We're not spelling love. Okay, stop thinking that. Um, L O. But there's gonna be other shapes. Okay, so we've got the box, and then we've got a little circle that we're gonna do over here. Okay, so let's do the circles real quick. Uh, radius. Click out here somewhere, six, right? I think it was six that I did. Oh no, you know what? It was three radius, six diameter. So let's do that again. Radius three, okay? And then up here, this was a diameter three. So I'm gonna go back to my diameter tool and I'm gonna click out here somewhere. It really doesn't matter where, I just want you to put it anywhere. Um, diameter's gonna be three on that one, okay? Last thing is a little square here. It's just six by six, okay? Um, so rectangle again, go on the bottom corner or on the top corner, up to you, slide, click. If you're at the top corner, it's going to be at 6, negative 6, because we have to go 6 to the right and then 6 down, right? And you get something like that. Now, the dimensioning tools. I don't ever, ever, ever use this dimensioning tool, okay? I'm not even going to talk about it. It's just not worth it. Uh, I already shot this video, by the way, so if I seem a little frustrated, it's because I shot the whole thing. And then my disk space was full, so I had to clean out some stuff, but it stopped actually recording like halfway through. And I didn't realize. I'm actually going to check right now. Looks pretty good. We're about four minutes in. Okay. So, yeah, I don't use that dimensioning tool. I use this uh, box of dimensions here or this little drop down. You have linear, aligned, angular, arc length, radius, diameter. Uh, let's go with the two easiest ones first. I don't use these. Uh, radius. If I want to know the radius of a circle, all I do is just click on the circle I want and then tell it where I want my radius dimension to be. I could always click on this later and move this number, that's up to you. Um, or you could actually move it inside as well, totally up to you. Control Z brings it back, I kind of liked how that looked, although I did it on the wrong one, it should have been over here. Radius, click, 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 bring this out. All right, so that's that. Diameter, oh, do we have a radius on this one? No, These, those are just distances. Diameter, diameter dimension, click on the circle, uh, it's looking for the center. Sorry, I clicked the wrong thing. Diameter measurements, dimensions. Okay, dimensions is just a fancy word for measurements um, and like sizes and stuff and how long something is. 
uh, I want to do the diameter of this circle. So you'll see that says diameter 3. That is the diameter symbol, just so you know. You could always click in that text, and you could click in here. I think you have to arrow. I don't know why. You always have to arrow to the right, and then I bring it back. And You know what? Yeah, it only lets you erase the entire thing. So sometimes I'll go DIA with capital letters, always capital, always, always, always capital stuff. Di uh, DIA stands for diameter, and then 3, and you could put the inches mark in there too if you want. Totally up to you. Click off. Done. Okay, you don't have to do that. If you know what the, the symbol means, then just leave it like that. All right? Um, I don't really care either way. All right, um, so that's that. That's pretty easy stuff. Okay, now drop this down. Linear dimensions, super easy. Click two points, move out, and click your third point where you want it. So that's a six-inch uh, length of left to right on this shape. One, make sure you zoom into this because you don't want to accidentally get a corner that's not the corner that you want. Zoom in, click. Now, out, six. By the way, scrolling in and out, once again, measure, uh, is zoom. Okay, so you want to be able to move in and out. Checking video again. Beautiful. Six and a half minutes. Um, we're going to do a cross. We're going to do the inside of this. We're going to do the inside of this. And I actually meant to do the height of this as well. So we're going to do those uh, four dimensions. So back to linear. We're going to go like this somewhere. We're going to go like this somewhere. Let's do this. And let's do this. Very easy. Okay. For this one, linear, left to right left to right, look at the corners that they're actually drawing to. These are spaces, and they're meant to be there. I think they're called leader, leader spaces, actually. Um, I could be wrong about that. You know what? I think this is the leader line. I don't know what that's called. I think it's called the extension line gap or something like that um, because these are the extension lines on the left and right side of the dimensions, okay, or on the uh, top and bottom if you're doing something that's vertical, all right? Um, okay, so that, that, and this. That's all I want to know. So... Linear dimension, one, two, third one. Again, zoom in, one, two. Now, it doesn't matter if it's all the way down there, but you're still going to draw up. It'll go either way, right? But we want to go up and click our dimension up there. And then the last one, by the way, I'm hitting spacebar to get back into any tool that I want to get back into. So if, I'm, if I hit escape and I'm done dimensioning, but then I want to start dimensioning again, spacebar brings me back in. Zoom in, click, click, one, right? Well, that's two, but I meant to say my third click. Sorry. Um, I didn't dimension this circle, but you can put uh, any dimension you want on this one and then any dimension you want on that one. So what I'll do is I'll do I'll do arc length, which we should already know. Nasty won't let you do that unless it's just an, um, an angled line or uh, an arc that's cut. Okay, so we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, let's do radius on this one, and we will do... Diameter on the one under. All right, so that's all you got to do. Uh, so we dimension these three shapes. Oh, we want to do angular dimension here. So basically that's just saying 90. Or if you had something, by the way, if you want to do polar coordinates, which is at distance angle angle, right? So if we did at two angle 90, that's going to go two up. Uh, that's polar coordinates. The reason why I'm saying that is that if you don't know the angle, you know, if you don't know the distance, but you know the angle that it's going to go at, you can just type the angle. You can skip putting this part get that part out of there and just do angle 45 and you'll see that it tracks at 45 degrees I don't know if you could type a distance now or not never tried that yeah it looks like it um, no that doesn't look right but here that's a 45 degree angle that's a perfect time to use an aligned dimension because I want to know how far this was if it was right or not yes it was so you can do that later on if you don't know the distance at first but then you know it later on all right um, here while we have that there why don't we draw control Z is undo why don't we draw 10 this way, right? So this is part of what you're doing too. You're gonna do yours down on your, you know, along yours. Um, we're gonna do aligned, and we're gonna leave that one. That's gonna say 10. Aligned, you don't have to do any left to right because it's just gonna be a, like a linear dimension. So forget that. Um, but you can now do angular dimension, which is just two lines, and then it breaks that into four quadrants, and you got to tell it which one you want and where you want it. Third click, right? One, two three right so that is a 45 degree angle I think that's what I did in here so we're gonna do that as well one two click right what else we got uh, we did the circle okay so this one all we want to do is do two linear dimensions three and three this guy kinda looks like Pac-Man so before we do that we're gonna have to start at the center we're gonna draw up until we click and we're gonna draw over until we click 
right, until we get an intersection. Then we're going to trim. Trim that out. Two linear dimensions, linear, top, bottom. Sorry if I'm going fast. I'm trying to keep the video a little bit shorter. The last one I shot was like 20 minutes. And since I messed up on it, I was like, dude, you can totally beat that time now. Try to get it down a little bit. Um, because as you can see, I already did this, right? So I'm doing it again. Hopefully this is working good, okay? Um, okay, so last two things is going to be arc uh, arc length, which is just basically how long the arc is around the outside, 2 pi r. Um, or this is going to be the degrees of the actual circle, like how many, how many degrees of the full circle is it, which is 270. So you're going to go to um, angular for that, and you're going to click on the circle, and that's going to tell you 270. Then you're going to do arc length right there and click the circle and that's going to tell you what the arc length is 14 and 1 8 all the way around you know from here all the way around to there okay so that's pretty much it um now why are you doing this if you're someone from far far away you don't have to but you could just learn it um, but if you're one of my students i want you guys to create this because this is one of the one of the tiny tiny projects that really don't mean much um, that we're going to start you know showing me at the beginning of each day so when i come around and i check your sat questions and your id cards which is what we do in my classroom um, you're going to show me this stuff, and I'm just going to say, okay, it looks all good, or I'm going to say, ooh, I don't know. You know, you got to fix something, all right? So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for following along. Oh, I forgot something. DDIM settings. D-D-I-M. Go into that. That's what changes how things look in here. So I'll, I'll tell you mine real quick. You know, you hit modify, by the way, because you just stay on standard and hit modify. That lets you change the settings. In symbols and arrows, we change the arrow size to be 0.125 or 1 over 8. Same thing. You guys at home, uh, you don't have to do this. You, you know, you can just leave them how it is. It, it'll show like decimal. Um, or you know, you're probably wondering that the whole video why mine didn't look like yours. But that's that's this. Um, or you, can, you know, you could leave it, or you could follow along with us. But students in the classroom, these are the five or six things that you have to change. Uh, center marks, we put that to none, right? So we got one eighth inch arrow size. Center marks none. That's basically just the plus that's at the center of the circle. So you'll see mark puts a little mark. Line puts uh, mark and lines. We like to put it on none, at least for the first couple drawings. Text. Text height, 1 over 8 again. That's just how tall the text is of the numbers. We always do 1 eighth. Always, always, always. 1 eighth, 1 eighth, 1 eighth. Even when we're typing regular text and it's not dimensions, the height is always 1 eighth. Okay? Forever. Question number one on the test. What is the size of text? 1 over 8. Okay. Fit. Always keep text between the extension lines. You'll notice that this one is between the extension lines. Long story short, sometimes when the dimensions are really small, it likes to kick them out of that space because it thinks that they don't fit. And I know that they don't fit sometimes, but we like to make it where it always stays between there. That way it doesn't fly all the way out here and not really make any sense where it is. Okay, That's also just a preference of my own. Primary units. It's normally on decimal. You'll see what that does in here. But we like to put it on fractional, at least for the first couple of drawings. Later, we'll do architectural. What that does is it shows the inches mark at the end. Or if you're working with feet and inches, it'll show the apostrophe for the feet and the quotations for the inches. Okay? Uh, so, fractional for now. Um, or anybody at home, if you guys are already jumping into doing feet and inches, you can put that on architectural. The only thing is uh, you'll have to... I'm going to hit OK here. You will have to close. Not you guys, but you'll have to type units as well. And you'll have to change this, which I can't see to architectural. That's how you'll be able to type with feet and inches. So if I'm going like this to the right and I do one foot six, that could be one foot six inches or one foot six inches. You can type either one. And that is one foot six inches, which also is the same thing as 18 inches if you're just, you know, trying to do inches. Okay. But sometimes if you're working on a house or something like that, you got like 45 feet, six and one third inches. We never do thirds. Um, but you'll, you'll try to do that and, and you don't want to calculate that to inches. That's not fun. All right. So back to units. We're going to change ours, unless, you know, hopefully you didn't change it, back to fractional. And then we're going to go back into DDIM. And, you know, you probably just stayed in there, and that's fine. Primary units, fractional, 1 16th is my precision. That's how close it's going to be. So if something comes out to be like the closest 64th, you know, it's going to be like uh, 33 64ths or something like that, it's still going to round to the closest 16th. That's just that's just what we do. It's, our, it's basically the measurements of an architectural scale, okay? Um, fraction format, not stacked. And that's pretty much it. What that does is that's just the stacking of the numbers here. All right. Hit OK. Hit close. And what time are we at? Boom. 15 minutes. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Later.